Bobby Maynew and Marcus Rashford's absences from England were criticized. Manchester United's Luke Shaw is still not in group training for England. Hello everyone, welcome back again. If you're new to this channel, click subscribe so you don't miss any Manchester United update news. Let's go. Why Wout Weghorst is the Dutch clutch? It is always satisfying to see former Manchester United players doing well on the big stage, and that is certainly the case for Wout Weghorst. The giant Netherlands striker was thoroughly pleasant and engaging to work with at Old Trafford during his loan move from Burnley last season. Giving his all on every occasion, the likable center forward may have only scored twice for the Reds, but his endeavors were clearly appreciated by the United faithful, as he relished every minute wearing the shirt. Of course, he already had previous when it came to major tournaments, before he arrived in Manchester. Weghorst proved his worth at the 2022 World Cup, when he came off the bench to score both goals in a 2-2 draw with eventual champions Argentina, and he has remained a valuable option for his country. In Euro 2024 qualifying, he hit three goals, including winners in both games against Republic of Ireland, and he was added again in the Netherlands' finals opener in Germany. Netting the winner with his first touch as Ronald Koeman's men beat Poland 2-1, the substitute came up clutch again, and his roar of celebration evoked memories of his response to his Old Trafford effort against Real Betis in the Europa League. Opta stats show the 31-year-old has now moved ahead of his fellow former United attackers Rude, Van Nistelrooy, and Memphis. In terms of goals for the national team as a substitute, 7. Only Pierre Van Hooydonk, 10, and Klaas Jan Huntelaar, 8, have scored more. However, in terms of major tournament strikes when coming off the bench, Weghorst has a higher tally, 4, than anyone else in the country's history. Also, remarkably, he averages just 108 minutes per goal for Holland, which ranks him above legendary United marksman Van Nistelrooy, 130 minutes, and Robin Van Persie, 147. What hits home about Weghorst is his tremendous attitude and work rate, traits that can be vital in tournament football and helpful for squad harmony all of which does not mean he is not happy to be left out of the starting 18th. Far from it, according to Komen. Wout is upset and doing a lot to get the opportunity to start, said the Dutch boss. That is a great mentality from the player and always the last decision by the coach. Wout is aggressive, he always takes initiative and is a good header as well. He has one chance and finds the net. It is to be expected, and he has done his claims the power of good as the Netherlands prepare to meet current outright favorites, France tonight, Friday. Although there is no United representative in the current Dutch squad, with Tyrell Malaysia missing the entirety of last season due to injury, there are two more former Reds involved. Daily Blind was an unused substitute against Poland at the weekend, while Memphis started in attack. The encounter with France in Leipzig will go a long way to deciding which team wins Group D, with both sides on three points after their first matches. Given Wout, who spent last term on loan at Hoffenheim, is being linked with some big clubs in this transfer window, including Ajax, it will be interesting to see how he gets on in the Friday 20 all BST kickoff. ManUteD.com reporter Adam Marshall, stationed at Old Trafford, expressed his satisfaction at seeing former Manchester United players thriving on the grand stage, particularly highlighting the success of Wout Weghorst. The Dutch striker, who previously donned the Red Devils jersey, has been making significant strides in his career, impressing with his performances at a top club following his departure from Old Trafford. Weghorst's achievements serve as a testament to his talent and determination, earning praise and recognition from fans and pundits alike. Marshall emphasized the pride felt by Manchester United supporters when witnessing Weghorst's success, underscoring the club's tradition of nurturing top-class players who continue to excel even after moving on. The Dutchman's prowess in front of goal and his contributions to his current team's achievements highlight the impact of his time at United, where he honed his skills and developed into a formidable striker. 
As United fans reflect on Weghorst's journey since departing the club, Marshall's observations resonate with the sentiment that the club's legacy extends beyond the pitch, influencing the careers of players who continue to shine brightly in their respective careers. Weghorst's success underscores the club's role in shaping talented individuals who go on to make significant contributions to football at the highest level. With Weghorst's continued success serving as inspiration, Marshall's reflections at Old Trafford reinforce the pride and appreciation among United supporters for their former players' achievements on the global stage. As football evolves, Weghorst remains a poignant example of Manchester United's enduring impact on the sport and its players' careers. Man United set to poach another one of Mikel Arteta's staff members as Gary O'Driscoll moves to bring in former colleague. Arsenal physio Jordan Rees is reportedly set to leave the club to join Manchester United. The Red Devils hired Arsenal doctor Gary O'Driscoll last summer bringing his 14 years at the North London club to an end. He arrived from Arsenal with a reputation as being one of the most progressive doctors on the Premier League circuit and has extensive experience of top-level sport, having worked with the British Lions, Ireland Rugby, Saracens and British Cycling. O'Driscoll is currently leading an overhaul of United's outdated medical department after a string of injury issues in recent times and he has moved to bring in a former colleague in the form of Reese to help with this process. O'Driscoll's modern approach makes him well-suited to revolutionizing United's medical division that numerous insiders have described as outdated. Reese will take the role of United's head physio, effectively replacing Robin Sadler who left the club in January. Final negotiations over Reese's contract are currently taking with a start date yet to be decided. The move comes amid concern behind the scenes that United's rivals are significantly more advanced in terms of sports medicine, putting the Old Trafford club at a disadvantage in terms on-the-pitch performance. Arsenal's pursuit of Benjamin Sesko has received a significant boost amid interest from other top clubs, including Manchester United. The talented Slovenia international has been on the radar of several European giants, but it appears that Arsenal have emerged as the clear frontrunners in the race for his signature. Sesko's impressive performances have garnered attention from scouts across the continent, with his combination of skill, athleticism, and goal-scoring prowess making him a highly sought-after prospect. As the summer transfer window approaches, clubs are eager to secure his services, recognizing his potential to make a significant impact at the highest level. Despite interest from Manchester United and other competitors, Arsenal's pursuit of Sesko seems to have gained momentum, with reports indicating that they are the clear choice for the talented forward. The Gunners' reputation for developing young talent and providing opportunities for promising players could be a decisive factor in Sesko's decision-making process. For Arsenal fans, the prospect of adding a player of Sesko's caliber to their squad is undoubtedly exciting. His arrival would not only bolster their attacking options but also signal the club's intent to compete at the highest level and challenge for silverware in the seasons to come. As negotiations progress and the summer transfer window unfolds, all eyes will be on Arsenal as they look to secure the signature of Benjamin Sesko and continue strengthening their squad ahead of the new campaign. ChatGPT Arsenal's pursuit of Benjamin Sesko has certainly generated excitement among fans, especially with the club reportedly emerging as the frontrunners in the race for his signature. Sesko's impressive performances and potential have attracted attention from top clubs across Europe, including Manchester United, but it seems that Arsenal's reputation for nurturing young talent has given them the edge in this transfer battle. Sesko's skill set, which includes a combination of technical ability, athleticism, and goal-scoring prowess, makes him an enticing prospect for any club looking to bolster their attacking options. As the summer transfer window approaches, the competition to secure his services is expected to intensify, but Arsenal's apparent momentum in negotiations bodes well for their chances of landing the talented forward. 
For Arsenal fans, the prospect of Sesco joining their ranks is indeed exciting, as it signifies the club's ambition to compete at the highest level and challenge for trophies. His potential arrival would not only add depth and quality to the squad, but also inject a sense of optimism and anticipation for the upcoming campaign. As negotiations progress and the transfer window unfolds, Arsenal supporters will be eagerly awaiting news of Sesco's potential move to the Emirates Stadium. If the deal comes to fruition, it could mark the beginning of an exciting new chapter for both the club and the talented Slovenia international.